Hello. I'm going to do another wee video. I'm just starting with the Muppets all lying, basking in the sunshine. But I wanted to come out and show you this. It's the magnolia. And the buds are beginning to open. There's a couple over here as well. But this one, this one is huge. There's a couple at the side. So it's been a week. And they're really beginning to open. Some little leaf buds coming out as well. I just wanted to share that with you. And hopefully when they're in full bloom, I'll be able to catch another wee video of it for you. Before it rains and ruins it all. I'm going to go for here. This is baby spring bulbs. They're about six weeks old now, I think. They're doing really well. There's a couple of different ones in there. And in behind, I planted the large lilies in this trough so that when they grow, it'll maybe be like an artificial wall. Look at it. It's about three feet long, so it should be quite thin. They, they, do, they do grow quite tall. And this is the wee lilac bush. You can see there's lots of new growth on the top of that. That's little leaf bud growth, so that should go quite well. I read up on this and it won't flower until it's about three. So there's a good couple of, maybe two years to go yet on that. But there's lots of leaf growing on it, so that's good. Uh, we dilate it's down the bottom. The hyacinths which are nearly growing and the lavender starting to grow up. There's little African daisies, I haven't done anything with them yet but they're still in there growing away. And a few strawberry things to see to over here. But I wanted to take them up the garden a little bit. This is dog fluff. I put it out for the birds and they come and they take it away to their nests. So. My son dug the two trees out over there, it's beside those two watering cans, they dug the two trees out there and I cut back this bud layer so hopefully it'll bush out more, cover more of the fence rather than height. He planted one of the trees, this is a bud layer, in here and it was a bit droopy just for a couple of days but all the leaves are pointing up now and it seems to have stabilised itself, so it's established in there. I wanted to show you these. This is the Pears Flame Bush. And it's abundant with flowers. And I mean abundant. I've never had this many flowers on it. So it must be very, very happy in this corner. The loads last week, it was little like pods and they've opened this week and you can see there's just so many of them. I'm so absolutely delighted with it. It's beautiful. So I might actually try and plant that in there permanently. But it likes its pot and I don't want to upset it too much. And go over here. This is the clematis. It's about halfway up the frost trellis. So that's doing quite well. There's a few buds, there's a double bud on that one there. The azalea, it's, it's doing okay, it's got a lot of green on it, not many buds. And this little bush here, my son dug out the tree that I was fighting with, so I won. And he planted this bush, it was in the trough right through the winter and it gave me these beautiful flowers right through the winter. So I'm hoping it will do it again. I've planted it in here and it seems to be taken, it's not dying but it's not looking greatly healthy but it, it, it is, the green is coming on it so hopefully that will look much better in a couple of weeks. The princess tree, if you can see there's little kind of purple leaf buds on it which is good because it's much earlier than it was last year. Last year this was kind of late in doing its leaf buds but I moved it last year into the ground. So hopefully that means it's established itself. And the wee clematis is starting to grow up the back there as well. In the trough, there's nothing much in here. I've done a lot of weeding. But in the trough, there's a lot of lily bulbs that are growing up, which is good to see. I don't know if that will make it that kind of wee plant there in the front. I don't think it will. I think I'll have to dig that out. And there's the wee clematis, which is starting to 
try and weave its way all over the place. And this was the space that I had that bush and we've dug it up and put it in the garden. And I think that's all I've got to share with you today. I stuck a wee weave up there just to add an extra bit of colour on the fence. And there's not much more. I've planned some more stuff. There's my wee buzzy bee and my ladybug looking after my garden for me. Oh, yeah. I was telling you about strawberries growing out of the grass. Well, there they are. Not, I don't think they'll come too much, but there they are, growing out of the ground all by themselves. So, that'd be good if they do, if it does actually take there, I'll just leave them. But I think that's all I've got to share with you. Here's a little one lying on the step, sunbathing. And I'll leave you again with that big mag magnolia bud. And hopefully by this time next week, it'll be in full bloom. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you all again next week with another wee update and hopefully it will still be sunshiny. Thank you. Bye.